Hello, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days on this beautiful sunny day where I'm fortunate to have the day off work so I can have some fun in the art studio with you. I'm working with a feeling today. I am going to be working on some pieces later in the day that's going to need concentration and a specific image. But before I do that, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to have some fun with some colours. Uh, just mix them together and let the colours and the resin tell me what it wants to be. So I have a feeling of the winter theme I want to keep to. And I am thinking of adding Resin Blast into a dirty cup and see if that helps create some event uh, effects, not events. I'm thinking I might want to use some glitter, so I've got that ready just in case. And once I've created the base coat, which is the, the colours from the Dirty Cup, I might come in and uh, test something that I've been thinking about uh, with three specific small Dirty Cups on top. But I might not need that, but I'm not going to tell you what that is because I don't want to spoil a future video when I use that. Now the colours I'm going to be working with are the Colour Cottage Additional Winter Range. So this is going to be the Aztec Gold, uh, not the, the Autumn Gold, <laughs> made my own name up there, because I want that really warmth, little vibrancy that's going to hopefully blend in beautiful with the colours, which is the Coffee Bean Brown. So that's a lot denser and that does tend to fall to the bottom. So I've learnt from last time, if I'm going to use that, I need to mix it through and maybe keep some back later and add it in as a line. The Emerald Green. That's the one that I used on one of my previous videos, which has got the mint chocolate uh, title. The Bluebird Blue, not worked with that yet. And I've been undecided whether to add this or not, but I really, I just want to work with these colors. So um, that one again looks like it's gonna be a dense color because even though it's the same uh, volume as everything else from a weight point of view, um, it's like the coffee bean, there's not a lot in the tub. So I would imagine that's gonna be a color that's gonna uh, go to the bottom. And then the cranberry shimmer. So they're the colors I'm gonna work with. I'm just gonna mix them up, add them into a dirty pour, and flip it. And as I'm saying that, I'm thinking I might have said the wrong thing, but I'm gonna add them all to one club, add some ready blast, pour it out, uh, but I might just flip it, so it's gonna be a flip cup, let it do its thing, see what I can work with, and then have a plan B in place in case I need to add some oomph and some depth. So remember to have your um, dust mask when working with pigments, because they do fly all over. I'm working on a tile. I love working on tiles with resin. So if you've not done that yet, I suggest you give it a go. It works beautifully. I've taped underneath. I've leveled it. Got my blowtorch ready and my heat gun. And I'm going to have some fun and just get creative. So let's start this process. So the resin I'm going to be using today is Mastercast 1 to 1. And I'll be having a 250ml, which should leave me with a little bit left to come in and finally try and do something with this uh, piece of art that you've seen me just come in and adding the bits to it at the bottom so yeah so my intentions is any overspill just keep adding it to that and see where it eventually creates so let's do this I'm going to add one little bit of Resi Blast to each one. I can take my mask off now. 
which is good because it's warm. So, one bit of resin last in each. <coughs> but then when I add it together in the cup, I might just add another one, two each. I'll add a little bit more then. Okay, keep the lid off. So I'm going to layer in a little bit of my green first. This one I'm not too. Am I? Yeah, no. I'll mm -hmm. add some, but I'm going to keep some back. Okay, so now I'll do the same with my brown. Do it down the side so that it's not going to blend in too much with everything. Just remember to keep some of that back. Okay, cool. Now my gold. Cranberry. Add some more resin last. One, two, three. And then I'm just considering do I repeat that again? Yeah, I'm going to repeat it. It's kind of fun. Don't know what this is going to end up being like. Back to the green. just a little bit back to the brown to the gold To the cranberry. I'm getting higher, just like my cup. And to the blue. Okay. Now I am going to just once through and through that way. I hope that's just not ruined it. Two more drops of Resi Blast and then let's have some fun and see what I've created. So, what do I think? Well, ultimately it's the brown, so one could say it's mud. Let me just 
um, blow the bubbles, let it settle down for a bit, and then I'm going to see how I can embellish this. something quite pretty about it though. All the metallics and the browns. Alright. Let's settle down a bit. Just want to keep that bit in the centre. Alright, this is where Shine goes to town now. Okay, so I can't really make it any worse than where it is. So I'm gonna have some fun. Gold glitter. Beautiful. Let's get the magic sticks happening.
I'm gonna bring you in for a look. A little bit more overspill than I would like, and it's probably a little bit too bright in here to show you the colours and the depth. So a total different design to where I thought I had in mind, although I didn't really have a design in mind. It's more just a feeling and colours, but I seem to have gone back to a similar pattern, quite earthy and organic. And I'll see what it dries like and see if I can embellish it and bring you back and have a closer look once the sun's out of here. But you get a different idea of the texture and the depth and let's see how it dries so I've been able to move this now because it's cured enough to be moved but I can't really touch it yet so I just moved it out of the way because I want to walk on the other work on the other piece but I just wanted to show you some of the textures and stuff that you're getting in this piece hopefully the glitter So I decided I do like this, I actually love it, and I, I'm definitely going to come back with some embellishments over the top, just to really bring out um, a little bit more dimension. But yeah, can't wait for this to be fully cured so I can finish the vision of what it is I'm trying to do. Hi, welcome back. I am now going to look at doing a little bit of embellishment here and I am contemplating this going to have red offshoots of uh, the gold mirror leaf and possibly some of this beautiful, it's called gypsy, gyp, the gypsy shine. <laughs> uh, now it is supposed to be a cosmetic thing but I'm actually going to look at popping some of this in here and just see where I go. So originally I was thinking gold, but I don't know. I think it needs, there's beautiful reds in here. So I think it needs something to pop. So I think it needs to be reds or blues. I think the gold would be nice, but I think it would just um, not pop as much. And I want a bit of color in this. Um, so I'm gonna put the gold away. So I know it definitely doesn't want to be gold, but I am contemplating a little bit of blue. I'm not too sure how much I've got left of the blue. I think the green would be too similar. But the blue might pop as well. Gotta be out there, you gotta be brave. Uh, but I think the green would be too similar. And there isn't enough, I do need to order some more green look. Use quite a bit of it. No, I think it's gonna be red, a tiny little bit of blue because there's blue in here as well, and that blue is just to die for. And um, a little bit of that um, bronze glitter, body glitter. So I'm gonna go for this and see what I want it to be.
this is the gypsy shrine this is the body art but it's got like little i don't know if you can see it um stars love art squares rectangles and glitter all in there so it's giving this beautiful mirror effect a little bit better than the foil if i'm being honest Lessen the weight.
So I've just come home from work and I finished my final touches of embellishment and I'm going to take you down the bronze mirror river. Look at those shapes and look how it sparkles and shine and look at the texture. Look how it goes around where I see is the dragon's eye hidden behind the trees or the plants. It's amazing what your mind can do. We'll carry on up the Bronze River and there you can see where I've added my red and blue mirror foils on top to help give that sense of movement and that the whipping round and depth. And I really, really love this piece and I can definitely see that I'm going through a style at the moment. But considering this was a ring tree pour that I think didn't work out as I expected, I think I've still managed to capture some pretty cool colour in there. But also I love um, these little grooves and ridges and this is where joking aside I talk about I can see a dragon's eye here peeping through but I can also see the scale of the skin. It's got so much texture to it. So I just love this. This is like a body glitter. Super, super messy, because you have to put it on and then shake it off and you'll see in my video, it spends a lot of time brushing it off. Glitter has stayed around here, but I'm not too phased by that, because once I put a final coat of resin on top, it should keep all this in place, protect it all, and finish the piece off beautifully. But I really do like this foil and these colours, but the colours on the tones, I think work really well. And looking at my other piece I did, you definitely can see that this is my work and my style. So I hope that you enjoy this and I hope you can see lots of different depths and textures and colours. And I'd love to hear what you think about this piece. And I think that's it really. Remember, if you like my art, thumbs up, subscribe and share and comments are always welcome. I love to interact with you. Remember, if you want to see what products I've used, make sure you do click on my links in the description that'll take you to Amazon. And it won't make any difference in the cost to you, but a small percent of what you click on and purchase in Amazon goes toward the artist. And also, I know that the adverts can be super annoying, but if you can at least watch uh, 30 seconds of the adverts, a very, very small, a very small percent of that goes to the artist to help them with the cost of their channel. And remember, all my work is for sale, unless it's already been sold, hashtag disclaimer. But if you're interested in purchasing anything or would like a custom made piece, please contact myself. And other than that, I just want you to have the most amazing day and I want you to be creative and use your imagination but be true to who you are as an artist and let's keep sharing ideas and let's keep supporting each other so i will see you on the next video